سيكل سيل تريت ذا جينيتيك ميك اب از اي اس سو ذا اس از ليس ذان 50% اس از ليس ذان 50% اند ذير از اي اولسو سو ات از اي اس ان ستراكشر اي اس ان ستراكشر ات از هيتيروزايجوس بيكوز ات از اي اند اس هيتيروزايجوس ات از اسيمتوماتيك لايك ذا اذر تريتس وي وي منشن بيفور Hemoglobin electrophoresis, we will find S band in addition to A band. So S plus A. While uh, sickle uh, cell anemia, sickle cell disease, or affected, the uh, makeup is SS, genetic makeup is SS. And you can see in the electrophoresis, uh, the S is more than 50%. More than 50%. And uh, the patient with sickle cell anemia will have manifestations, symptoms, and signs. In addition to very important crisis, sickle cell anemia hemoglobin S is more than 50% as we mentioned. Hemoglobin S is less soluble than hemoglobin A. So polymerization of hemoglobin S occur in hypoxia. The problem will appear in hypoxic states like high altitudes. Or during operation, cycling will increase and will lead to complications and the crisis like vaso occlusion. So the cycling will lead to blocking of the microcirculation capillaries. What's called vaso occlusion? It will lead to deprivation of some parts like the food. From the blood supply and leading to leg ulcer. In addition to destruction, this is uh, abnormal sickle cell, abnormal sickle, rigid, so destruction, extra vascular destruction will occur and the anemia. Sickling crises are characteristic for uh, sickle. Uh, sickling crises may be painful crises, excessive pain, attacks of pain. Due to inflammatory changes, a plastic crisis occurs when there is super infection by a powerful virus P19. So we have a hyperhemolytic crisis increased in the activity of the bone marrow uh, to compensate the uh, hyperhemolysis increase in the destruction. So we have different and variable type of crisis. We have a plastic crisis. And we have hyperhemolytic crisis, and we have to differentiate between a plastic uh, crisis and the hyperhemolytic crisis. We will mention the test which differentiate between a plastic and the hyperhemolytic crisis. The last crisis is the sequestration crisis, excessive accumulation of the sickle cells in the organs leading to organomegaly. Uh, precipitating factors that leading to crisis. Uh, hypoxia, uh, high altitude anesthesia, and during operations. Sickle cell syndrome, the, during the sequestration uh, crisis, the spleen is enlarged, splenomegaly, early. But later on, after years, and due to excessive uh, sequestration and excessive obstruction of the blood vessels by sickle cell, it leads to ischemia and uh, Infarction, death of the cells and tissue of the spleen, leading to sp at the end splenic atrophy or autosplenic shrinkage of the spleen at the end. At the end, it will be shrinkage, decrease in the uh, size and uh, of the spleen. So at the beginning, there is massive splenomegaly due to sequestration, but due to obstruction of the blood vessel, it end by autosplenic or shrinkage, shrinkage in the uh, spleen. It's like uh, removal of the spleen by surgical splenectomy, but here no surge. Uh, hand and foot syndrome due to obstruction of the blood vessels uh, supplying the hand or supplying the food, it lead to uh, ischemia, infarction, as we mentioned before, inflammation, redness, swelling, and pain, and maybe gangrene that need amputation.